All right, ladies and gents, welcome to this interview. And I'm very, very excited and humbled to have my good friend and teammate, Pornthip Molding, here today, all the way from Australia. The power of the internet is bringing us together. That's what we love. Welcome to the broadcast today, Pornthip. How are you doing today? Thank you, Simi. It's such an honor to be here. And hi, everyone. Right. <laughs> so, Pornthip, you know, Pornthip's someone that I've looked up to for a long time, ever since joining Millionaire Mentoring, right? She's one of the leaders. We're in a lot of um, hangouts together. I learn a lot from her. And, you know, there's people who inspire you with their stories, but then there's people who really inspire you with their stories. Because, you know, the thing about our community is it's full of people that have gone through some sort of adversity, right? And decided to take action on their adversity and not let it hold them down. Now, let me know if this sounds familiar because when I was going through really hard times, I figured I was in the worst situation anyone could be in. Now, that's a very selfish thing to think. Of course, everyone else is having hard times. You might be having hard times right now. But something you have to understand about this industry is that when people actually break through, usually they're in a point of transition. Usually their back is against the wall. They have no more chances. They have no, nothing more, no safety net, right? For me, I lost my job and I lost my income. Porn tip will tell you her story. Your story might be similar. But what I'm here to tell you today is that you can break through it and you will break through it. But the only way to do so is to take massive action and keep strong to what your why is, your reason for doing it, right? Let the pain of your situation push you into action, but let the vision of the future you have for yourself and your family pull you, okay? Let your vision pull you. So hold your vision strong inside you while you listen to this interview with Porn Thip, and she's gonna go back a little bit into her history, her life before Millionaire Mentoring, and where she is today. So with that being said, I'd like to welcome her to the, to the broadcast. Pornthip, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Take us back a little bit, and let my viewers have a window into your amazing world. Welcome to the show, Pornthip. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful introduction there, CV. Appreciate it. Um, yes. My name is Pontip Molding. I'm originally from Thailand and almost 30 years ago, I changed my life by decided to move to Australia and have a family here, four children later. <laughs> so I started out, I couldn't speak a word of English, not a word. And I couldn't understand my husband, what he was saying because he's from England. And we settled here in Australia. And I thought back then that I would like to help support the family financially back home in Thailand, as well as my own family here in Australia. So I grabbed whatever job I can get to earn income. And I secured a cleaner job. And then a year later, I thought, hmm, I lost my four toenails, physically hard at work. And then I have to make the change to get out of that lifestyle that I had. It earns income, it pays the bills, but it didn't fulfill my life. And I lost four toenails as a result. So I had to change. So I step up and get out of my um, uh, fear of change mode. <laughs> I call that fear mode. And I uh, learn English. I study English language just to understand my family, what are they saying? And also if I have to secure income and a better job, I need to know English language very well in this country. So I study daytime, I continue to do cleaning nighttime to pay the bills. And then during the um, English language, I then secure the early childhood 
uh, a job as a assistant. And then I left the cleaner job to do early childhood job. But I, it didn't stop there. I study, continue to study night time and work full time job daytime to pay the bills and raise the children at the same time. So all three things happening all at once, every single day. So long hours. So, so I make the time to do all of these things. We all get 24 seven equally, but how you manage your time and prioritize your time to, to, go, to gain more for yourself and your family. I, my why is my family. I want them to have a better life in this country. And I want my mom and my brother back home in Thailand to have a better quality of life. And how can I afford to do all of these things if I don't study and better myself and gain knowledge so I, I can do more to gain more and help more to people I love. I do all of this for other people that I love. So that sacrifice come in. You got to manage your time, prioritize your activities that you do, make the time for whatever important most, and then you can gain all of this knowledge and then step, advance yourself and step up into your life, career, or business that you do. So for me, I step up in my pay scales from assistant child care worker to team leader, to the director and manager of child care services. 13 years later, I got four children. And then, originally I thought I, I, I'm only gonna study child care so that I can raise my children with the qualities of the life skills that I can gain from the program that I'm in. But then it become bigger. The vision is bigger, it grow bigger. And um, as a result, I step up into the trainer trainer and assessor, a qualified trainer and assessor in early childhood, 13 years later. And then I started the lecturing in early childhood program in university. And then 11 years later, there's a position called senior lecturer. And then I thought, hmm, I wanted that because it pays more so that I can help more and give more. I got knocked back four times. I applied for that position four times. And the reason is I didn't have, this is what I was told, I didn't have good enough English for the written or you know, uh, speaking or um, strategic management skills in English to step up into that leadership role. At first, I accepted that. I accepted what I was told. However, what changed? Because I've been through four or five senior lecturer in the past two to three years after that, after my first attempt. And all of them reach out to me seeking help for their job, <laughs> for their position. And that tells me something that I can do that roles and responsibility in a higher up that I was told I'm not good enough. And that's the shift in my mindset. I have a go again. I apply three more times. And the last time I apply, I got it. I became the senior lecturer of 12 lecturers in my team of the university. So that's a peak moment of my life and my career. And of course, earn over six figure income a year later. <laughs> now, life hasn't been rosy during that peak hours because the university changed their uh, budget from the government. So therefore, from 12 members in my team, we dropped to four, including myself. However, the workload wasn't cut. <laughs> the workload stayed the same for 12 members, only four people handle them. So that is three times more than what we used to have. And that's 
the health issues are to creep in on us, just not just me, but the team, and the stress level, it's, it's very, very peak. I decided I have to make the change. Cannot put up with this any longer. You draw the line in the sand and you tell yourself enough is enough. I got carried by the ambulance twice from the chest pain, from work, from my office. And at one time, I fainted in the toilet at work. Didn't know how long I went black out. That got to change. So I look outside the square, think outside the box, there must be something else out there for me. However, fears blocked me, fears blocking me for years from leaving that position. I call that a golden handcuff. Golden handcuff where a person earns so much income in their life, they don't want to let go. I earn six figures. I can comfortably support my family back home in Thailand and here in Australia. Very comfortable. And I, I, I was into real estate and, you know, buy houses. My children call me, oh, mom, you only buy food and houses. <laughs> and yes, that's true. <laughs> that's all I've been doing. So basically, uh, that, that got to change. My health go down hill, like hit rock bottom. I got carried by ambulance. Then I decided, okay, enough. Draw the line. I'm going to look outside the box, think outside the box, and get outside the box. I, I had that fear of change because I've been doing the, the same career for 20 years, you know, over 20 years in the same industry of early childhood all this time. So I'm afraid of changing into something else because I didn't know what I'm good at uh, other than, you know, raising children and, and teaching other people how to raise children, right? So basically, I joined all the online marketing uh, businesses, uh, 11 of them. In the, in, the, in the 12 months period, I joined 11 of them. And many of them, um, told me I have to pay uh, for advertisement to get the leads to see my business offer. And I follow that guide, guide, guidance from the, the uplines of each company. So they all say, oh, send people the link. So I just spamming everybody, you know, on the planet with my link, right? <laughs> and I'm telling you what, I got paid well, I didn't get paid. Till this day, I didn't get paid. But it was on my account, 100 USD. And still sitting there till this day. And I, because the company got shut down, I couldn't withdraw it. <laughs> so so I, I, I lost a lot of money. I'm talking about in June of $100,000 to be, you know, to be estimate just a little bit over $100,000 that I spent on programs that got shut down now, that uh, uh, nearly about 50000 just for the program, and the rest are advertisement. Now, where did, but where did this money come from? Come, it came from my husband's uh, retirement fund because he can access his superannuation uh, fund so we withdrew that and then we just purchased all these things thinking believing that it's gonna pay off for us and boy it didn't happen that way i then start to have low self-esteem lost all the confidence i used to have i was a leader in the u university imagine he rock bottom like that i was so shameful guilt disappoint and self-blame a lot. So I was thinking of suicide. I was suicidal. During that time, my mom also was diagnosed of cancer. And then I thought, oh my goodness, it has to change. We have to find a way to get out of this. But because during that time, I was so 
overwhelmed with all the negativities. I couldn't get out. I couldn't get out of this. And um, so I, I wanted to go, to leave, to leave this planet. But then one day, some dude sent me a message, <laughs> a millionaire mentoring. And then I thought, right, I, I surrender. I surrender to everything that I try to do by myself. I thought it's that easy, straightforward. Listen to what the upline tell, tell you what to do and that's going to be all set. It didn't happen like that. So I surrender. I watched that video and that video resonated with me. I needed a mentor. I need someone who tell me what to do, who show me the way, who lift me up high above the roadmap as a GPS, you can tell which, which way you're going to turn and what the precaution you have to have in your risk management that not to go here, not to go there. Try this one. You have to take action. Do this, do this, and do this. Step-by-step -step formula is already in place. Blueprint strategies already, you know, proven. And it's only typical for those who take action. So I went for that. And I follow one by one, step by step. And within 24 hours of implementing these strategies and the script, I scored $1,000 in a day that I apply that knowledge to the stranger that I never met before. So just telling you that this formula worked if you follow it, okay? I then have hope. I have hope that I can do this now. It's the first 1,000 online I ever made. So what happened after that? A month after I joined the Millionaire Mentoring, I had a massive car crash. The whole family almost get wiped out. And only two weeks ago that they caught the guy who was on drug at the time and hit us on the highway, high speed collision. We flew in the air, nearly gone. So survived that, I changed my mindset. I then thought that, okay, this is another chance that I get to live and to do better, to do better. So I then push myself back up because I, every time I was thinking of quitting, I think of my mom's face. I think of my family. Every single time I decided to, to leave this planet, I think of their faces and the reason why I started in the first place, why I'm here in the first place. And that's helping me to boost my motivation, the momentum start again. Have faith, have faith in what you can do and you will achieve it, accept the reality and responsibility that you can take this with you for the rest of your life to make a better life for yourself and your family. So have faith that that can be you too. So I survived the car crash thinking that positive uh, positivity in my mindset, thanks to Millionaire Mentoring who feeding that positivity every single day to us. Every single time you think of quitting or leaving the, the program, Think of why you started today. And that will help you re, re jog your memories and you will become more grateful. More grateful. Have gratitude to what you've got, to what you have, and work from there, like what I did. And after I implemented this millionaire mentoring intensively, I'm, 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 mean, I'm meaning intensively, six weeks. I secured a consultant contract of my own industry in early childhood. I realize now that I've got knowledge. I've got knowledge and skills to help lots of people out there. Remember, I used to be fearful of change. I don't know what other skills that I have to offer outside the box, right? 
So I'm basically realize now that I have all the knowledge and skills. I've been working in early childhood for over 24 years. It's not gonna go on for nothing. Mm. I can use, use this knowledge and then I can help businesses or register training organization and do whatever it takes to help the newcomers in the industry gain their knowledge too. So now I have my own business in early childhood services. Basically, I'm working with the CEO of the, the, the uh, registered training organization, teaching international students who want to settle in Australia and I've been assessing them online every single day. So now I'm online entrepreneur and working with international people around the world. Thank you, Simi. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Talk about inspiring, Tip. Wow. I had no idea. You know, I, I've heard parts of your story, but I haven't heard the whole thing. That's unbelievable. You're a strong, strong lady. I, I really look forward to meeting you in person one day. Honestly, this is amazing. Oh, yes, yes. You're, you're I'll visit great. you. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, to, to you listening right now, it honestly doesn't matter where you are because, I mean, you could be like me living on an island who lost his job and his consulting and his businesses, right? You could be like Pornthip who went all the way up crashed all the way down, had a horrific car accident, suicidal tendencies, right? Or you could be just someone who's looking for a change in their life. They want more. It doesn't matter where you are in the spectrum. What I want you to really understand is that millionaire mentoring not only provides you with skill sets and tools and fundamental strategies and blueprints and all this to make money online, you know, to put cash flow in your pocket because that's what we're really doing here. Okay. But it also gives you a sense of belief and self-esteem and pride in yourself as a man or a woman. Because I can resonate with Porn Thib very much when she speaks because I was also sliding into a depression when I came into Millionaire Mentoring, right? I was sliding into a depression of my own. And when I stepped into Millionaire Mentoring, like Porn Thib says, you're surrounded by love and, and people who have been there, done that, and they can tell you that it's brighter on the other side just keep going. And that's all fine and good. But when they say just keep going, and then they provide you with the tools and the strategies they used to get there, that is the game changer. When you have the support of the community, and when you actually have mentors, you know, who have been around the block, both online and offline. And by the way, side note, study quantum physics and, and, and physiology and psychology, right? This is huge. People underestimate the mind game. It's like 99% of making money is your mind, right? I'm sure Pornthip would agree with that. So I just want you to understand it's not all about making money online. It's not. You heard her first. You heard her say it, right? She's working in an online space as an online entrepreneur, but she's not necessarily following specific online companies like you might be right now, right? This applies to anything, anywhere, anybody in any industry, right? We have real estate agents. We have kids that have never worked before in their life that came online. People like me, I'm in hospitality and tourism, right? You heard Porn Thip Store. We have people from all ranges of industries taking advantage of these tools and strategies and mindset training and sense of community, right? That's what it's really all about. And as a side note, I'll just make a side note, okay? When she's talking about spending money on traffic, Six figures. Oh my goodness. I've never heard anybody say that number so big. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. You were all in, weren't you? Yeah. So what she actually means there, just to clarify, is there's two sort of ways to go about the online space, right? There's the seven-figure formula, which is what we're taught and what you will be taught. Seven-figure formula. Okay. And then there's the broke man's model or the debt model. And that's essentially exactly what Porntip was following. And I was just starting to follow it. Thankfully for me, Porntip, I didn't get that deep yet, right? I was on the debt model for about a month, right? So a debt model, just if you're not aware, is when you're buying into a program, right? And you keep upgrading to get qualified. That actually is fine. The upgrading is fine. If you're qualified, that's perfect. But it's the source of your traffic and your leads, where they're coming from. So a lot of these big companies, 
their uh, your upline or the company itself, their goal is to sell as much as they possibly can, right? As quickly as possible. So what they want you to do is exhaust your friends and family and sell as much as you can and exhaust those hot leads of yours. They don't care if you lean a, leave a carnage of destruction behind you with people that aren't interested in your business, right? They don't care that they're telling you to buy traffic and you put it on your credit card. They don't care. They don't care about you at all. They just want you to make a couple sales and then they move on to the next person. So that's the debt model. And that's what 97, 98, 99% of people making money online are following because that's what's taught to the masses. Now, the seven figure formula, the strategies that Pon Pon Porn Thip is talking about, these are free strategies, 100% free, okay? All the money that you see me posting about, Porn Thip posting about, other people in our teams when we're celebrating 1K days online, congratulations, Samuel, for making 23,000 in a month, right? Congratulations, Andy, for making 2000 while on vacation in India, right? All of this is done with free strategies, free strategies, proven free strategies that hundreds of people have implemented, right? So that's the difference between the debt model and the seven figure formula. That's very important to understand because when you understand that small tweak in your mind, you realize that it is possible to start anywhere, anytime. You don't need a big budget for traffic. All you need is proven strategies. And those can be given to you on a silver platter with a side of caviar, right? Inside Millionaire Mentoring. Okay, so porn tip, from your experience, you know, you've done the offline, you know, your offline career, you came online, you had wild success, you know, you got into six figures online. If you could say, you know, a couple of the challenges when people are just starting their business or they're trying to get started, or maybe they're transitioning from a full-time job to a part-time job online, like me, for example, right? I still work my full-time job. It's consulting, so I'm not really full-time, but I still work. But I'm working part-time on my fortune right now at home, right? So people that are looking to make this transition, or maybe someone who has, but they're struggling, you know, what do you think some of the keys to success for you have been and a little bit of advice for them moving forward. Yes, thank you for that. And um, you have such an inspirational story yourself, CB. And uh, you know, both of us have very, very good things in common here. Leaders, when they hit rock bottom, they get back up, they dust themselves off, and then they follow the mentorship. We have mentors, okay, to guide us from here to here to here and do this, do this, do this. People are giving up too soon. They try it out, they don't see the results, they want instant gratification. It didn't happen overnight. And then they just think, oh, you know, they lost hope. They don't, they don't believe in it. They're skeptic from start. So there's a lot of negativity start to overwhelm the people. So CV and I have something in common. We don't give up. We don't give up. We keep on trying it, doing it. Okay, if, 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 if this way we know that it's going to work, but we get into one third of the way and it didn't get any results, let's modify it. We didn't quit, we modified. We adjust, we make some little tweak in whatever data we receive. As a CEO of your own company, you've got to know your data. What result did you gain from here, from here, from here, from the activity items that you are put your heart and soul into, you have some result coming in, even though it doesn't spit the result, you know, like your, your, your goal is like 20K a month. Maybe you don't get there yet, but what you gain closer towards that 20K a month. So you need to give yourself a pat on the back for the progress that you're moving forward towards, closer to it. 
Okay, most people give up and quit, and pack up and move on and say the formula didn't work. So if you thinking of um, making a change from whatever uh, you do now or or wherever you you are at in your business or starting a business brand new, I would want to say that one you have to have your why. Why you want to do this? First, if your why is not big enough, or your why um, not important enough, when you hit rock bottom, when you hit the wall, you're gonna quit, and nothing can stop you from quitting. I almost quit numerous times, but because my why is strong enough, that pull me back on and pump up the energy and momentum again and motivate me to move forward. My vision pulls me. I don't struggle to, uh, um, uh, to do everything every single day. I don't struggle to get there. It pulls me to get there. I wanted to get up in the morning and do it. Every, every day, every morning, I kid you not, when I see this sunlight behind me, I do this. Thank you. Thank you. I wake up in the morning to have another go at this. To have another chance at this. Because my why is important enough for me to inspire me and pull me to jump out of bed with the excitement to do it again. Let's do this. It's a new day. And that kind of energy that you will need to succeed. So very important guys, you need to get a mentor because you don't want to go down and up and sideways and crash and then go back up and don't know what, what I'm doing. Like myself, you don't want that. We are here to help you save your time, okay? Save your energy, your heartache, your disappointment, and a massive loss of money. We are saving you from going through what we've been through. See, we and I, we have a rough patch in our lives. But now, with Millionaire Mentoring, helps us. We are like an e eagle flying over the mountain. Nowhere the, 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 the channel to go through. The, the dips, you know, the higher mountain ahead of us, all of this, we know where to go because we have Millionaire Mentoring GPS roadmap to help us fly through and know where the risk to take and risk management to, to deal with every single day. So for you who um, want to start an online journey, don't just, it's gonna be online. You can apply that into offline business like I have done in early childhood industry, everyone have knowledge and experience. So you guys have the skills to offer. Don't ever doubt yourself that you know nothing, okay? You know something. I got to learn some skill from my teenager's son, right? So everyone have something to offer. You don't ever doubt yourself like I did. It took years for me to reboot. And rebuilt my confidence again and thanks to millionaire mentoring so i want to uh, take this opportunity to inspire you and motivate you to not giving up never give up modify your journey and then you will know how to overcome the challenges and hurdle with the millionaire mentoring program thanks cv yeah, I, I could not agree more with you, Pon Pon. I could not agree more with you, Pon Tip, really. You know, I, I always, you, you say the eagle. I, when I think of it, I think of like, I'm walking on a path and it's dark and I don't know where I'm going. And then all of a sudden, someone who's been around the industry for 20, 30 years, all of a sudden is holding your hand and they have a giant flashlight. It just changes everything. All of a sudden now you can sprint and you can actually do what you wanted to do inside you you want to sprint you want to do well but if it's pitch black dark you will trip you have no choice right i tell this to people all the time 
you can succeed online if you push hard for 10 years straight and don't stop. But that's very difficult to do and it's going to take you 10 years, right? That's why, I mean, I say it constantly because since I got into mentoring, I've been sprinting as well. And before joining, you know, I didn't make any money. Now I'm consistently having $1,000 every 10 days or so. I had $2,000 this week. It's my best week yet, right? So my intention now is to be the vehicle for people to shorten their learning curve and ultimately succeed in an industry where 97% of people are failing, right? And to take it one step further, when people get on the other side of the fence, when, they've, when, they, when they decide to just jump the fence and get into this and take action, the one thing that you realize is that now the 97% of people that are failing are your market because they need help and you can be the person with that flashlight, right? So your market has just gone, you went from this side to this side, right? Now you can be the beacon of light and you can be the leader and let it come through you because we all have leadership inside us. You have leadership inside you right now. Born tip has it, it's shining, right? But it needs to come through and it can only come through if you're being guided. It's a fact, right? Professional athletes, actors, politicians, everybody has mentors, right? Why shouldn't you? Think about it, right? All right. Well, thank you very much for uh, spending your, your morning with me, Porn Thip. I appreciate your time very, very, very much. You're very inspiring. I always love speaking with you. You're always smiling. You're always bringing a ray of sunshine to my world when I see you. So that's amazing. Thank you so much for that. Um, Thank you for having me, CB. Yes, of course. Thank you. Of course. Um, you know, I hope you guys got some value from this today. I'm sure you did. I know you're inspired. I don't even need to ask. I have a tear in my eye listening to Porn Thip. It's amazing. For more information on what we're doing about our millionaire mentoring group and how we're changing our own lives and helping other people change their lives exponentially faster with the help of our millionaire mentors, reach out to myself, reach out to Pornthip, and we can point you in the right direction and assist you on your journey because we're enjoying our journey and we just want to give the love to other people that want to join that journey as well. Okay. So with that being said, hope you're having a wonderful day. Sivi here from Barakai, Philippines, Pornthip coming in from Australia. We bid you a good day and we'll see you on the next broadcast. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.